Good morning, YouTube. Here we are. I haven't done a vlog in uh, five million years. <laughs> I kind of stopped doing them for a while because I just, I always feel like they're so boring. Um, and maybe it's just like editing your own, like everyday life seems really boring, but here we are. A couple of you have requested vlogs, salon vlogs. So here we are. We're going to do that today. My hair looks like this. <laughs> Haven't done anything with it yet. So I'm going to make a little breakfast. I always have just like a little English muffin with some peanut butter on it for breakfast. I'm going to curl my hair. I'm going to film a video. That's why that mess is all over there. Uh, set up for my clients. I don't have a super busy week this week. Things were really weird last week with like COVID stuff. Um, it kind of seemed like maybe I wasn't even going to be working this week, but seems like things are under control again. So here we are. So it's not a very busy week this week. I didn't really focus on filling it in too much because I thought we were going to get shut down again. So happy that we didn't. Happy to be working. Um, I'm going to have a quick breakfast and then we'll do a little tidying up and hair curling. Set up for the day. I've got the towels put away. I've got towels in my hot towel cabbie for a pedicure later. I've got the oils going behind me. Cleaned my implements, put them in the sanitizer. I had left those because I knew I wanted to put new solution in my sani tray. It keeps for about two weeks, so um, 
I knew at the start of this week I wanted to put some fresh in there. So that's all done and ready to go. I just got to rinse off my implements in probably 10 more minutes. Like my client will be here in about 15, so it's just about perfect. Um, I filmed a video right before this and I can just see the ring of the ring light like in my eyes. <laughs> Anyways, I have that one client coming in at 11 and then I've got lunch after that. So I think at that point, maybe we'll go through the salon empties. Maybe we'll pick out what polish I'm gonna do on my nails tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. I wanna change my nail color. I've got a chip right there in the thumb. I don't know if you guys can see. So I need to redo my nails tomorrow. So we need to pick out a polish color for my fingers possibly a color for my toes because I've yet to paint my toes and I'll probably wrap up the vlog then it's not going to be a long one just because I do have a slower week this week and I know I'm probably not going to have anything to vlog beyond today until like Friday so anyways I'll see you guys in a couple of hours and we'll do those things okay it's time to pick a polish color I'm all set up for my pedicure this afternoon I dug out my portable um, nail Dremel. So I did review this once on my channel. I'll link that video in the description box down below, but this is the one I use on my own nails because I can just take it home and it doesn't have to be plugged in or anything like that. So I usually take this home with me. A clean little band for that. I'll grab my gels and stuff at the end of the day that are over here because I'll need them on clients, but I want to pick a color. So usually what I do is so I have this sort of robin's egg blue color. It's called Tiffany blue. I have this on right now. I've got a little, I've got, is it gonna focus? I've got a little chip right there in my thumb. So I wanna do my nails tomorrow. And what I normally do is I'll pick like two or three colors because I find if I just take one home, I never want that color. You know, it's like whatever you packed for lunch, you don't want it for lunch. So I thought I'd pick a couple of options. I was thinking about this one. So this is the OPI gel color in Rice Rice Baby. So I'm going to take that home. It's sort of like a soft, like rosy pink. So set that there. And then I thought I might also take a nude. So this one here, it's just like one of these kind of nudie colors. I thought I might take that home in case I'm feeling that kind of a vibe. And then I also wanted to grab something like more colorful. Um, I recently had like one of these colors on, so it's kind of a bright purpley color. So I definitely want something different from that. I've got the blue on. Uh, I had kind of toyed with maybe one of these kind of purpley colors. This one's called Enchanted Beauty and it's this sort of lilac color, but it's quite bright. So I think I'll grab that. And I also thought I might grab this one. So it kind of gives me a little bit of a variety, but this is kind of like a raspberry color. They're not making these shellac Lux anymore, but the color is Femme Fatale, which they do make in like the regular formula now. So I'm gonna take this one home as well. So that gives me some options depending on my mood tomorrow. So I've got this kind of more rosy pink. I've got a nude. I've got this like raspberry color and then I've got a purple. So that kind of covers all the bases. And then I thought I might just grab like this white kind of iridescent glitter in case I wanted to add specifically with either the light pink or the nude. I thought I might want to add a little bit of shimmer. Usually with these brighter colors, I like them just plain. Um, but I thought this white would kind of go either way. So I think that's what I'm going to go with for my hands. And then for feet, these are my regular polishes. So just this rack here. And like, I'm not quite ready to go full on like summer colors just yet. So I was almost thinking I might want to do like sort of this like peachy color. So I thought I might take this home. This is called a muse of my own. So I think I'll grab that. I also might grab Senorita Rosalita. That's like a classic OPI color. It's like a pink with a gold shimmer through it. I thought I might grab both of those as options for my toes. I do have polishes at home, um, but I can't remember what all I have. So I wanted to bring a couple options from the salon. Oh, all right. I've done my morning clients. I am on my lunch hour. We've picked out a nail polish color or two or three. I thought we'd go through some of my salon empties. Not my most popular videos, so I'm not really doing them as like a standalone thing anymore, but you guys seem to like them included in the salon vlog. So I thought this would be a good time to run through what I've got in this 
box. Um, I went through another jug of my CND Scrub Fresh. This is the sort of nail prep step of the gel nail system that I use. So you cleanse the nail with this before putting any gel products on there. I always buy the big ones when they go on sale. They go on sale fairly often. Um, so I have since repurchased this one. It's not something I would ever be without. Uh, I also went through some Windex from the dollar store. Um, I think I have th had this bottle and one other of these sort of generic kinds, and then I'll be switching to like a cruelty-free brand. I just bought a bunch of Windex when we first opened back up after COVID. It was another one of those things that was kind of hard to get at the time, and with having the plexiglass over top of the nail table, that thing... <laughs> It's just a giant dust collector. It collects so much dust. I Windex it. As soon as I'm done with my clients, I sanitize the table. I sanitize everything on the table. I spray down the plexiglass. I wipe it all down. And by the time the next person comes in to sit, there's already dust on. It just comes from the air. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going through a fair bit of this type of thing. Um, I just bought this at the dollar store. It was like $1.25, just the sparkle and shine. I think I had, like I said, one more of these. And then I'll probably repurchase the Method brand, which is cruelty-free and available at the drugstore. So I'll definitely be picking that up sooner than later. It's so like I said, going through a lot, a lot of Windex. The rest is all products. So I have mentioned in my last few um, salon empties, I'm trying to work through some of my... Um, essential oil collection. I just have so many. I have more than any person could ever need. Um, so I did use up an entire bottle of the spearmint. I really like any of the mint scents. So I really love the peppermint. I love the spearmint. Although I find some people are like, are you chewing gum? <laughs> it smells a little bit like gum. Um, but I really like it. I just think they're really fresh. They make me feel awake and alive. So use that up. Probably won't repurchase it. If I'm going to have one mint one, I prefer to have the peppermint. So, but I definitely did enjoy this one. I don't know why there's so much hair in this box. I just don't know, <laughs> but everything is covered in here. Um, I have two pots of gel here. This is the CND Breeza gel system. This is the system that I use on 99% of my clients. I went through a jar of the large size of the clear gel. This is what I use on most people. And then I did go through a small jar of the warm pink. French manicures have really been making a comeback the last couple of months or so. Um, so I've been using a lot more of my pink gel. So I really like the warm pink semi sheer. Do you guys see that? The warm pink semi sheer is the one that I like to use um, on French manicures. Just gives a little hint of pink to the nail plate without being fully opaque to where you see like a lot of regrowth as they grow in. This grows in really subtly, um, but it just gives you a little bit of coverage on that nail plate to where it looks really like healthy and natural. I went through a bottle of the Spa Ritual Cutie Clean. This is the cuticle remover. I've been using this one for many, many years. I love it so much. Um, this is the big size and I just had a small bottle that I was refilling from this one. Um, I haven't repurchased this. The problem with this, I really love the Spa Ritual products. They're cruelty free, they're vegan. I've been using them for years. Um, the Cutie Clean in particular works really, really well to take that stubborn cuticle off of the nail bed, particularly on the toes where they can be even harder to remove. Um, the only thing about the Spa Ritual products is that I have to buy them out of Quebec and I just haven't had the best of experiences in dealing with the distributor there that I have to deal with. There's a bit of a language barrier, but on top of that, they do have like a, I think it's a minimum order of $150. And this is really the only thing that I'm buying from them. So I, I don't wanna buy $150 worth of cuticle remover in order to make a purchase. Um, cause otherwise they won't ship into my province cause it's quite a, quite a ways away. There goes the fridge again. <laughs> Here we are. Um, so I have not repurchased this, though it is my absolute favorite. So if you're a nail person and you're looking for a really good cuticle remover and you live somewhere where you can get the spa ritual easily, highly recommend it. I haven't tried anything as good as this. I have repurchased something else off of Amazon for right now that had really good reviews. Actually, it was somebody on YouTube, uh, a nail channel on YouTube that I saw her using that product. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was called, but I'll link it in the description box down below. And it works, it works as well in terms of performance, but the one that I bought off of Amazon, it's really runny, whereas this one is more of a gel consistency. So when you apply the other one, it really runs around the cuticle and kind of off the finger. And 
I don't love that as much. I like the viscosity of this one much better, but it's just so inconvenient to buy. So it would be great if some of my more local distributors would start carrying this, but otherwise I'm just gonna make do with the other for now. So really, really love this though. Really can't say enough about that. Um, I used up a bottle of the Very Well Creamy Developer Lotion. This is for doing like brow tinting. I don't do lash tinting in the salon, but I do a fair bit of brow tinting. Um, so this is the 10 volume 3%. I have repurchased this, definitely always have some of that on hand. I have switched glues. I mentioned in, well, probably all of my Salon Empties videos that the OPI nail adhesive has been my favorite for years. It's the one in the red bottle, white with red writing. And the last few times that I've bought that, it like, I like literally opened a brand new bottle and I went to squeeze it out and it was hardened inside of the bottle. And that happened to me at least a half a dozen times to a point where I was buying fistfuls of it because I was like, surely there's gonna be one good one in these like 10 that I'm buying. That's stupid, don't do that. That's a terrible waste of money. So I have switched to the Star Nail one. Um, so this is the Star Nail Instant Nail Glue. I had used this one years ago and I really didn't like it that much. Um, so I'm not sure if the formula has changed or what, but I do find that this is better than I remember it being, and I have yet to buy one that I had to throw away right away. So it's just become the more economical option. I don't use a ton of nail glue. Most of my clients are getting fills, not new sets, but you do have the occasional new set, and you do have the occasional repair where you have to put a tip on. So always have to have glue on hand, and this seems to be the one that's doing it for me lately. Um, with my gels, I also used up a bottle of the Breeza Bond. So this is the C&D Breeza Bond. It's the bonder that goes with the Breeza gel system. I usually go through about one pot of gel and one thing of bonder a month or so. And I have repurchased that. Can't do nails without it. I also mentioned in my last salon empties that I've been trying to work through all these like partially opened bottles of top coat. I think this is the last one. Anything else that I have open, sort of they serve different purposes and I like to have a few different options, but this was the gelish top it off, soak off top coat. Um, this was fine, there's nothing wrong with this. I don't like that it has such an odor um, to a point where my clients were noticing it even with their masks on. So I was glad to be done with this. I did think it did a good job of sealing everything in. It stayed nice and shiny. Um, you did have to give it a little bit of a buff before you could soak it off. But other than that, it was a decent top coat. I won't be repurchasing it though. There's others that I just like better. This has so much hair stuck to the top of it that I'm not even gonna show it to you. I assume this is where the hair has been coming from that's in this box. So this is the LCN nail oil. It's just a cuticle oil. I found this like partial bottle in the bottom of a closet in my house. So I just brought it in and dumped it into the bottle of cuticle oil that I'm currently using um, just to use it up. So I don't purchase LCN products anymore, but it is the line that I learned with um, 16 years ago. So, uh, I don't have any attachment to this one in particular. The one that I'm using now that I really like is the star nail one. It comes in a really big bottle and it's got the dropper. I really like that. And then lastly, I've got this base coat. So this is the C and D Ridge effects nail surface enhancer. This is basically their Ridge filling base coat. Um, I really like using a Ridge filling base coat on the toes. I find it gives a nice smooth sort of even canvas for the toe polish because the texture of the toenails isn't always like pristine and perfect. I find it just gives that nice smooth layer. However, I, this is my third bottle of Ridge filling base coat in a row that has gotten so thick and it's only about half gone. Look how thick that is in there. It's not even like leveling out. So I just find it's become really wasteful. Like I'm buying these bottles, I'm throwing away half of the product and I go to do a pedicure and I don't know if my base coat is gonna be okay to use or not. So I'm not gonna repurchase it. I've had the same problem with the OPI one. I think it's just the texture of the ridge filling base coats thicker and so it's more likely to get thick faster. So I did repurchase the C&D Sticky Base Coat. It's the green one. Um, and it just is really good for like polish adhesion. So I'm gonna switch to that for now and kind of see how I feel over the summer doing pedicures with that. But um, while I did really like this, I think it made a really nice smooth surface on the nail. I just feel like I'm wasting product throwing it away, so. So that's it for my empties. I am going to have a little lunch and watch a little Firefly Lane. That's what I've been watching on Netflix the last couple of weeks. So I'm gonna do that and 
Uh, maybe as a final clip in this vlog, I will include like end results with my nails so you guys can see what color I decided on. I've got one, two, three, four colors picked out for my nails and two for the toes. So we'll see what I end up landing on in the next clip. Hi guys. So I never filmed an outro <laughs> to this vlog. I think I figured I was going to vlog a little bit when I was home yesterday. I had the day off. So um, I did do my nails though. So I did want to jump on <laughs> and show you guys what I decided to do. So I did end up doing the uh, OPI Rice Rice Baby. And I did add, I don't know if you can see on the two middle ones, a little bit of that like iridescent glitter. Um, so happy with that. Nice and soft, sort of pretty for spring. Um, I didn't end up doing my toes, however, because I got home and realized that I didn't have like a regular base coat top coat at my house. So embarrassing, esthetician without a base coat top coat, but yet here we are. Um, so that's it for this vlog. Let me know in the comments if you liked this video, if you'd like to see more content like this. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.